Good morning guys, at least I hope it's morning if you're watching this, maybe it's night. Who knows what time it is, but it is day six of New York Fashion Week and I'm tired. Okay, it's 8 o'clock in the morning. I've been up since 7.30. I went to bed at 2.45 trying to get day 3 through 5 of vlog up. In fact, it's still uploading, but that's fine. I love when I have a video uploading that takes a long time because I have this great heart chakra um, video that I listen to. It's like a little meditation and it's so good. So it helps everything to like keep my screen fresh. But yeah, so, so good. I'll put a link down to it below. Um, I feel like I was having a hard time with my heart chakra. And lately, I, I have been a little bit. I feel like uh, I, I read Astrology Zone. I'm kind of big into astrology. I love Susan Miller. Um, yeah so i check my horoscope and it's usually right it's always at the top of the month oh yeah i'm sorry i'm looking like this but i you know my skin is having a little bit of an issue no major breakouts just like little tiny pimples but i'll be using this kiehl's uh white amazonian clay mask to kind of get everything under control showing you guys the real behind the scenes uh but yeah my career is going really great and my uh my horoscope said it would in fact my best day of the year was february 4th and that was like so cool because that's the same day i released steel magazine and it did so well it's still doing well uh support a sister check out steel magazine my digital magazine i have travel spreads from paris to tulum travel guides from paris to tulum um personal essays about wealth especially in the black community um personal essays about health my own experiences with like having traumatic health care as a black woman um just a really cool articles with a bunch of entrepreneurs that are millennials who are making names for themselves and just the struggles that come with being an entrepreneur and being a creative person um yeah so if you're interested in my digital magazine we're on our fifth issue our fifth year yes i've been putting out a magazine for five years myself well with the help of a few friends um this year we are doing a print version so yeah if you're interested in pre-orders they start to get mailed out in march so you can sign up below check out our website stillmag.com all righty but yeah my career is going great but like my friendships are suffering, some of them anyway. It's just been a tough like week with like family and friends and just trying to keep up with, with everything, including adulting, <laughs> you guys. I have managed to use every single fork, spoon and knife and coffee cup in like three days and I cooked last night. I'm actually happy that I cooked last night because I don't even know how I found the time to cook, let alone eat. But I've been trying to be better about eating because I've been losing weight super rapidly. I think I'm gonna make a doctor's appointment just to make sure everything's okay. But I'm pretty sure it's because I'm just not eating. Yeah, sometimes you have to remind yourself <laughs> that self-care includes eating, exercising, and doing something you love, like reading. So I'm gonna conquer these dishes while, so I'm gonna conquer these dishes, wow, I had some Mexican shrimp on there, while uh, my video continues to upload. After I wash the dishes, I'm gonna take a quick shower and get ready for the shows. I have an 11, 11, an 11 o'clock show this morning with uh, Studio 189 with Rosaria Dawson. It's gonna be a bomb show, so I definitely wanna make it. I'm meeting Nigel at the A train to go downtown at around 10, 15, and we're gonna go down together. If you don't know who Nigel is, Nigel um, Isaiah on Instagram, he is my really good friend. Like He just moved to New York on a hope and a prayer and a dream and a couple hundred dollars and like made his dreams come true. He always wanted to live here. He always wanted to be an editor. He started his own magazine, Color Magazine. It's a digital magazine that comes out a few times a year. 
maybe four times but he is killing it he's written for everybody like yeah and he does a lot of freelance work sir if you're looking for um a stylist because he styles a writer because he writes or anything of that nature like make sure to check him out he's really cool and check out color magazine as well gotta love some independent magazines all right i'll check back in when i'm getting ready for the show hi guys so i'm all ready i am wearing a mango top something by sandra dress and underneath i have my jill sandra yellow skirt i did a try on haul for you guys a little while ago if you're interested in the skirt just check out the rest of my videos just sitting here drinking some coffee looking at the daily front row they always give us these um when we go to fashion shows outside of spring studios and my porter just came in yesterday my favorite magazine of all time it's gonna be a fun fun day pretty excited about the um studio 189 show i have a couple of other shows but hopefully i will be home i would say around six so i can relax and just kind of relax also my period decided to come on yesterday so i have cramps from hell and i'm not trying to be out all day so yeah it's a closer look let me show you a closer look of my look and then i'm gonna head to the train station and meet nigel and we're gonna ride down together so i did a little layering trick here it's a dress over a skirt over a top <laughs> but it works it's actually one of my favorite outfits but i'm gonna be all over today so i wanted to wear something that could be photographed gotta get those features so i can get my numbers up all right and i'm gonna explain getting features too like trying to get into street style um on websites for street style like vogue or finery 29 or man repeller it just helps you get more known and that also helps you with brand collaborations they like to see that people actually like maybe care about what you're wearing or what you're doing or whatever that you've been featured somewhere like reputable sometimes that's all it takes to like take you to the next level so and representation matters it's not a lot of brown girls and black girls at fashion week so just being there just being in the room is like essential even though it might seem trivial to some all right gonna get ready i think i'm gonna go with these stella um mccartney shoes today um i don't know though i'm gonna try on a few and see I'll let you see later. Look at Nigel, y'all. Rolling up in rolling up in his look. You see his look? Look at it. Yes. Little old Burberry Corso. Oh, a little I see. public school jeans. Oh. A little Billy Reed shirt. Oh. A little something, something. Oh, a little uh, corner store hat. I see. That's I from Harlem. See. That's from Buffalo. Oh, sorry, on? sir. What you got going on? We out here, waiting for the train. What's this? Oh, let me, let me, let me go ahead. Or do we got to do, or we got to do a little reveal later? We do. <laughs> With my mock. <laughs> <laughs> real, this is um, real something by like Sanja dress. She's like a designer uh -huh. out in California. Okay. And I just layered it over my mango shirt and my Jill Sanja skirt. Okay, layering. <laughs> I got some Stella McCartney boots in this bag. Uh-oh. It's a look. I'm hot. Are you? I power walked over here, my God. <laughs> this is a World Trade Center bus E-Train. The next and last stop is World Trade Center. Uh oh.
In her soul, we can grow with this flow. We never waste time. If she was coke, I would order up a key. And she distant pretty far, so I'm flying overseas. Her waistline, all mine, gotta conquer. A slow wine Saturday, Casablanca. You got me hoping and growing closer when I hit your call. And we be laughing and vibing, watching that insecure. Insecure, I'm making sure that I wind and down ya That 9 to 5 got you stressing so I bought us all this ganja Reminder, baby this sex is all spiritual I gave us soul vibes so call me your soul in the yo Brown sugar, I want your love with no strings attached Give you my heart and don't wanna take it back From far with you And I can control these thoughts of you Subscribing, we can turn these pages to chapters, build it by stages. Dancing around this matrix, got these agents in amazement. Uh, I respect your mind, I respect the time, I respect the distance. I respect your love, hope you're respecting my mission. We keep it calm in the field, no need for panic. All right, guys, so the studio 189 show with Rosario Dawson was amazing. Definitely the best show of New York Fashion Week, probably because there's a bunch of black people that were playing some Afro beats. I mean, it was a party in there. Like, everybody was in there. The vibe was just a vibe. Oh my God. Best show ever. Best presentation ever. And I love the clothes. I can't wait to buy something. Anywho, so I just got pap, so I'm happy about that. Um, I'm starving. My next show is at one. It's not at Spring Studios. It's at uh, Industria. So of course, I'm heading to Bubby's. I need like one of those little ginger turmeric shots. Make sure I stay nice and healthy. Grab something to eat because eating is important during fashion week. People forget to eat and they be out here dying, okay? That's not what you want. So I'm gonna eat and then I'm gonna get a car over to my next show. But yeah, I'm glad I started the day with that show. I'm like energized and ready and happy. So I ate really quickly at Bubby's. I had the chicken biscuit again with honey mustard sauce. It was delicious. And now I'm in an Uber headed to Industrial. Look at all of these. Yeah.
back in an Uber, just leaving the Sun Kun show. It was really good. I've never seen a show with like little kids and they were all so adorable. And I just love the cinematics of it. Everything was so beautiful. Um, so now I'm headed back to Spring Studios for the Con Tree show. I've actually never heard of this designer, but I looked them up and I cannot miss this show. <laughs> like, yes, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be amazing. Um, yeah, and I have a seat, so that'll be great. And it's right, right by the A train. So as soon as this show is over, I'm gonna hop on the A train and head home and that'll be my day for the day. I'm like so happy. I'm gonna get home a little early. I'm gonna get a workout in. I'm gonna like clean my apartment because usually um, Monday's on my day off. So I'll get to enjoy a bit of this day. I hope y'all are enjoying this so far. Like some good life. <laughs>
Anywho, so that is New York Fashion Week day six for me. I'm going to head home, standing here waiting for the elevator. It was a bright idea, was it? To put the shows on the fifth floor of an elevator building with tons and tons of people. I don't know. I know you. Alrighty, I'm gonna head home. Stay tuned. Tomorrow, day six, is gonna be a really amazing day. Really looking forward to uh, Christopher John Rogers, my good friend. It's gonna be lit. See you guys tomorrow. Good morning, loves. It is Tuesday. It is day seven of New York Fashion Week. Um, excuse this, you know, I'm trying to keep my situation under control. So far, my skin has been doing really good during New York Fashion Week. Usually, I get a huge breakout. I need to find wood. But, like, so far, so good. And today, I did have <coughs> a few shows this morning. But I chose not to go. Um, I really need to, like, relax for a little bit and catch up on some work. So I won't be going to any shows until about five o'clock this afternoon. I have Cynthia Raleigh, which I'm really excited for. I know that's gonna be an amazing show. And I also have Christopher John Rogers. You guys remember, well, I don't know if you're new here. I worked with Christopher last, uh, last year around this same time for Black History Month. Um, I did like a series on my Instagram and on my blog where I only wore black brands and black designers um for the entire month of february and it was super cool like i met him in person he was so dope he like let me borrow this beautiful dress um and i shot it and we have just been like thick as thieves ever since and so i went to his first collection last season in september and now this is his second collection and i can't wait to see what he has in store he was like the talk of the town last year and he's just been making a name for himself i've seen his stuff on models on whoopi goldberg recently um on the pages of on the covers of teen vogue like he's just killing it he's a young um black designer and just so humble and amazing so we'll go to his show tonight that'll be my last show of the evening uh if you want to check out some of his work you never heard of him check out my new york fashion week vlogs from september if you just go down to my new york fashion week vlogs and watch my day is it day one or day two i don't know watch them both and you'll see i did like a whole little showing of his presentation so that will be super fun i'm up early because i'm trying to get some work done i'm getting a creative burst right now so i did some flat lays for a blog post that i have coming up i just popped my stuff there and took some pictures with my iphone and i'm also about to edit a few pictures to post on instagram and to go in my latest post I need to start packing up some of these clothes to send back to shop Bop. I need to send this dress back to Derek Lamb. So beautiful. Um, I'm probably going to do an unboxing really quickly on my Insta stories. And try to adult. Clean this house a little bit. At least I did wash half the dishes yesterday. So that's a win. I got my blue apron boxing yesterday. So I'll be able to cook a little something for myself. I think today I'm gonna have beef over rice for lunch. So I'll cook that for lunch and I'll save the remaining half of it because it comes for two people for, uh, for dinner when I get back from the shows. And then I'm gonna edit this video and then I'm gonna post it tomorrow on Wednesday. And then I just have like one more day left, which is cool because right now my schedule is full of collaborations. I need to post a collaboration pic in about two days. I have another collab I need to do that's due at the beginning of next week, actually two of them. So yeah, it's going to be a busy uh, week next week. And I also need to meet with my graphic designer to kind of figure out the layout for the print magazine. 
there's some things in digital and print that don't go like I have to go back and I have to take out all the links um, because it's not like you can click them in a printed magazine so yeah moving right along moving right along all right guys took a little break from putting my blog post together and I'm gonna cook a quick blue apron it's gonna be some beef over rice I just got a package so hold on sometimes they give us these little codes so that our friends can try blue apron for free if you're interested drop your email address below in the comments and I'll choose a winner and I will send you um, a code so that you could try Blue Apron for yourself. Perks! Let me not burn this up. Looking so delicious. I'm gonna go ahead and plate everything. Let's see. Okay. Have our rice. delicious Latina cheese that's my lunch looks good doesn't it and it only took about 20 minutes to put it all together and now I'm gonna devour it because I'm starving I forgot to show you guys my beautiful roses that I got from Roses Only. I put a few over here. They smell so amazing. So festive here in my little area of my clothes. And then I also put a few here in the living room where I usually eat keep some flowers gosh they smell so good all right so now i have to run to a ups drop-off center because for some reason they dropped off my shoes there instead of here i don't know why but i'm gonna go run and pick them up and then i'm going to get ready for cynthia riley fashion show but you guys look at how it looks outside <laughs> like uh why why mother nature why would you do this to me we gonna see because i wanted to wear my white boots today we gonna see you guys might have to be my black boots instead hi guys so i'm getting ready i slightly had to change my look because i was going to wear white boots and with this snow and dirt and slush i don't want to mess up my beautiful white leather boots so i switched them out I'm going to wear some snakeskin boots uh, from Mango. But still, same outfit, Mara Hoffman two-piece set. It's such a good set. Check it out, the link is below. Mara Hoffman just has some amazing clothes. It's a little on the expensive side, but the good thing is, who is out here wilding on their horn like that? Gosh, Harlem. The good news is, if you order from her website, um, I think she has the option that you can do payments, like four payments of XYZ, Anthropology, who also carries Mara Hoffman, does the same thing. So, I mean, it's an easy way to own like beautiful um, luxury pieces without having to pay that huge bulk of money up front. I also got a little something from Shopbop. I ordered some shoes, but I've decided that I'm going to do an unboxing of those shoes as well as a combination of PR unboxings that I got. So you're just going to have to check back for that video. It should be up in the next week. Sorry guys, got to say something for you. All right, so we're going to head out to the show. <sighs> Hopefully it's not too crazy out there with the snow. Mother nature, come on. All right guys, I'm all ready. I had to switch out my look. 
wearing this misguided coat. It's so warm, it's my favorite. Black beanie, my Mara Hoffman two-piece, and then these snakeskin boots from Mango. Still a look, but really wanted to wear my white. <laughs> Boo. All right, I'm gonna head out here and hope for the best. So I had to change shoes again. I'm talking to my camera, not you. <laughs> I had to change shoes again because the snake print ones, I tried to actually go outside and walk in them and I couldn't walk. They're, the bottoms were too slippery. So I changed into the black version of the white boots that I have. They're both Jill Saunders, but the Jill Saunders boots have rubber on the bottom, like ridges. So easier to walk in, so I had to change. And I was gonna try and take the train, but no, once I realized I couldn't walk. I called an Uber. It's pretty good. I'm still gonna arrive to the show on time, so. Mother Nature just would not let me live. over a two-piece and I really loved the one she showed and how the models just jumped into the pool with their shoes on the cute little uh, metallic 
gold and silver booties. And swam, that was dope. And it was nice that it was warm in there too. So my next show is Christopher John Rogers. And it's not until eight. So I'm just gonna head down to Soho, maybe do a little window shopping, get something to eat and wait until that show starts because it's over on Canal Street. Right now I'm walking to the train. It's not far. So I have some time. I took the train over to Barney's. I'm gonna have a look inside here. Let's see what they have. Gonna go in here and window shop. Hopefully not buy anything. But everyone is loving this outfit. And I might have to wear it again tomorrow because not that many people saw me today. Hmm. We'll see. How cool is this staircase? All right, guys, in a cab. I didn't buy anything from Barney's, but I did try on some Celine boots. I think I'm sad because I missed out on the Madame boots and I really want them. <laughs> Anywho, uh, I am headed to Mercer Kitchen. I think I'm just gonna go in and like have a drink, maybe a salad or something because I cooked early and I have food at home. Before the Christopher John Rogers show, I got an hour to burn since it doesn't start until eight right now at 6.30, so yeah. It's a rainy night, but everyone seems to love my outfit, and I feel like I might need to wear it again tomorrow. Or not. Nah. Y'all gonna tell anybody? Don't tell nobody. Somehow, ended up in Uniqlo. Gonna try on these pants. These are so good. Look at them.
it's Nigel. Day what is it? Day six, day seven? It is day seven vlog. We're here at Christopher's Farm Rock. It is amazing. Oh, it is amazing. So dope. All right, guys, that is it for day seven. It was a good day. Cynthia Raleigh was such a cool show at a swimming pool, like wow. And then Christopher John Rogers, always a good show. He's so amazing. Like I'm so happy for him that he's like getting the shine that he deserves. Um, look at this. How cool. So this weather is shit, but whatever. I'm out here. So I'm gonna head home, work on this vlog, and uh get tomorrow's post ready because in the morning I have a brunch with Shea Moisture. I have stoves tomorrow and a couple of other shows. It's gonna be a good day. And I'm gonna take you guys along with me for the last day of New York Fashion Week, day eight. <sighs> oh, I just noticed this. How weird. You guys see those eyes over there? <laughs> so neat. All right, guys, signing off day seven. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, all the likes matter, and subscribe. And don't forget to watch all my other videos. I have a lot of them, yeah.